Back on the final drive, Minnesota has been talking about this one for months. The opportunity to face TCU team ranked second in the nation, a team that beat them soundly last year. Early on, it's Trevon Boykin, the Heisman candidate, to Josh Doxson, who takes it in for the touchdown. 10 0 in favor of TCU. Boykin threw for 246. Roderick Williams, costly for the Gophers, fumbles into the end zone for the touchback. The Gophers down 10 3 at the half. Third quarter, here come the Frogs. Boykin, 19 yards for the touchdown. He ran for 92 yards on the game. TCU up 17-3, looked like they might run away with it. But Eric Murray, part of that great cornerback tandem, comes up with the interception on Boykin. Minnesota, little bit of momentum. Now on a fourth and two, the Gophers decide to go for it. And Mitch Leidner finds K.J. May, so a huge first down. Minnesota keeps the drive alive. And a few plays later, it is Rodney Smith, who had a very encouraging performance 16 carries, 88 yards. He takes it in, 17 to 10. To the fourth quarter, it's a 23-10 game after a pair of TCU field goals. Leidner, May, dives for the end zone. Leidner, 19 to 35 for a buck 97. Gophers back within six. They would get the ball back. One last shot at it, but a drive that didn't really go much of anywhere. And Gary Patterson's team survives against his good friend, Jerry Kill, who was actually in Patterson's wedding party, 23-17, the final TCU, a winner. So the second straight year, Minnesota loses to the Frogs as Patterson improves to 5-1 all time against Big Ten teams as TCU's head coach. But again, an impressive defensive effort by Minnesota.